Today I'm going to explain 2K Aero Spray and why it's so much more durable than standard spray can paint, as well as the testing procedures we follow to make sure it meets and exceeds our standards. Standard aerosol paint, like you get in an automotive parts store, is air dry and it lacks the durability of a two component catalyzed paint. 2K Aero Spray is a two component coating, like you would typically spray out of a paint gun to prime or paint your car. Inside the can is a bladder with the catalyst. To activate the paint, you remove the red button, place it on the bottom of the can, and press to puncture the bladder and release the catalyst into the paint. Then shake like a regular can of paint. Typically, you have about 24 hours to spray. Remember to follow all safety precautions like you would for a catalyzed paint. To show you the difference, we sprayed one side of this panel with standard automotive store paint and the other side with Eastwood 2K Aero Spray. When we wipe each side with acetone, you can see how it comes off the panel with standard paint, but it doesn't affect the 2K Aero Spray. And that's the durability you want in a coating. If you wanted, you could spray an entire car with 2K, but it's also great for small areas like doors, fenders, frames, or suspension components. It comes in primers, colors, clears, and high temperature engine paints. The primers are really nice for recovering areas you sanded through while doing body work, because now you don't have to buy a quart or gallon of the paint just to mix it up a little bit and then spend a bunch of time cleaning your gun. It's currently available in epoxy primer, which is great for covering bare metal and can also be sprayed over body fillers and other coatings. We offer a high build urethane primer, which is great for spraying over epoxy to cover imperfections. We also offer numerous colors, as well as a matte and gloss clear coat. You can also get high heat engine paints, including the popular Ford Blue and Chevy Orange that are heat resistant up to 650 degrees Fahrenheit. After you spent thousands of dollars restoring your engine, why would you top coat it with cheap auto parts store paint? It even comes with an adjustable nozzle that allows you to adjust the fan spray size as well as angle to help get into tough areas. Now let's show you how we test these coatings. We use steel and aluminum Q panels to test our coatings and apply them directly over the bare metal, over primer, or under a clear coat. This helps test durability and compatibility. These tests include a QUV test, which replicates years of sunlight and condensation. This test will show any fading or delamination in the test panels. As you can see, Eastwood easily outperforms the competition in the 100 hours of accelerated weather testing that simulates years of sunlight and condensation. A high temp kiln is also used to test every coating of failure. These tests will show pigment holdout, delamination, and thermal breakdown, which will ensure the coating you get from Eastwood will meet or exceed our specifications. This test is very important for our specialty under the hood coatings. An ASTM certified impact test is used to test durability of our coatings from impacts of different heights. Again, you can see how Eastwood far outperforms the competition through this harsh impact durability test. The ASTM adhesion test, commonly referred to as the cat scratch test, tests the coatings for adhesion as well as abrasion resistance. Eastwood also performs the ASTM flexibility test which requires us to bend the test panels over different diameter rods to show adhesion and delamination resistance. We also perform salt spray chamber testing and chemical resistant tests to make sure our Eastwood coatings meet and exceed our specifications and your expectations. You've spent a lot of money restoring your car, parts, or even your engine. Why would you ever top coat it with cheap auto parts store paint? For more information or to get your 2K Aero Spray today, click the button to visit Eastwood.com.